Meanwhile, the president continuing to make his push to cut down on school violence by trying to get a sense of how video games, that kind of stuff, might contribute to it. He's going to be meeting with a lot of video game honchos next week to discuss the very issue to child uh, adolescent psychiatrist Dr. Dominic Sportelli. Doctor, thank you for taking the time. Thanks for having me, Neil. Um, what percentage of, of kids, teens, whatever, do you think violent video games might make an impression beyond entertainment, that they become transfixing? Yeah, so the facts are this. A very, very, very small percentage of kids, you have to understand, millions of kids are playing these video games on a daily basis, and it's incredibly rare for a circumstance of mass violence to take place. And most of the research to date does show that there is no causal, real correlation between playing these violent video games and future violent acts. However, I will tell you this, which is very interesting. People or children that are exposed to violence in the media, on television, in the movies, on social media, etc., are more likely to engage in violent acts. So we don't really see it with the video games per se, but we do see it with the movies. Would you, as someone who you know works with kids and all, the president seemed to be animating at a rating system for games. There already is a rating system, but I guess what he was referring to is maybe tightening it or uh, for excessive violence, uh, which, again, they're rated for as well, um, that, that we really police this better, because even if it's a tiny percentage uh, among millions of kids, that's all you need. Right, and I think that's a very, very good point, because we have the rating system. So guess what it comes down to, Neil? It comes down to the guardians and the parents enforcing these rules for the kids. Because the truth is, a lot of these kids are playing these games that are rated for mature you're audiences. Right. No, they're, you're seeing, right. you know, they're seeing R-rated movies. Who's enforcing it? That's the important thing. No, you're right about that. And what happens is then all their friends are doing it, so... You know, you feel like uh, you're Pope Francis with your kids if you're saying, I don't care if all your friends are doing it. I mean, you're not going to do it. So, but, but I'm wondering how much of a factor it is in the overall scheme of things where games themselves, to your point, have gotten more violent. And then that's just a fact. Now, how the impression they make, uh, again, I'll leave it to folks like you, but uh, there, there are a lot of these games out there, and, and the, the predominant players are, you know, teenage males. Well, here's the thing. In 2015, the American Psychological Association did put out a statement that said they thought that violent video games lead to increased aggression and decreased pro-social behavior. Unfortunately, the literature now isn't really supporting that. This is what we have to understand, that to the average well-adjusted kid, they're not going to really have an increase in violence when playing a video game. Like I said, millions of kids play these games. But for the at-risk population, the kids that have poor impulse control, the kids that have antisocial traits, the kids that have experienced bullying, the kids that have poor coping mechanisms, those are the kids that are at risk, and those are the kids that these violent video games might have an impact and push them over the edge. Don't you find, though, that kids are numb to violence today, whether in games or real life or seeing it on the news or whatever, that... Uh, it's certainly nothing like I remember as a kid. Yeah, listen, in the 1950s, 10% of households had televisions. Now, 99% of households have televisions and media. Most kids have televisions in their rooms. So there's no question that kids are being desensitized to violence. Right. Absolutely. Doctor, thank you very, very much. Good seeing you. You're very welcome. Thank you.